Well, Hendrik joined us about five years ago, and for the life of me, I couldn't pronounce his name for the first three. Brilliant guy, Hendrik, absolutely brilliant. Just around Christmas time, he starts to get a little, uh, little mental. It always starts with him getting Christmas present from his mother in South Africa. She sends him all this stuff that reminds him of home. You know, clothes, food, music, books. Sends him totally off his rocker. It's like he thinks he's in South Africa again. He blows off his usual lunch break in the really canteen to barbecue on the staff balcony. And it's freezing. The competition's going to take us apart. Right. Across the whole of the UK. And the built on. It's disgusting. I can't stand it. Hanging there like meaty wind chimes. Look, I know it's harmless. But if Enric were an animal, he'd have a tranquilizer dart sticking out of his neck by now. This suggestion box is usually empty. But come around Christmas, Hendrik's a hot topic. <laughs> Which is why I introduced him to this website called Verofate. He can see what's happening in South Africa, find out what other South African expats are doing all over the world, read news that's relevant to all South African emigrants, and he can even catch up on the latest in Afrikaans entertainment. And he can even find out where to buy Biltong here in London. I don't have a clue what it's saying, but it looks good. So what do you think? It's got all the stuff in there. Moenie net vir kerstuit wacht nie. Bly op hoogte van Suid-Afrikaanse sake recht hier jaar met wereldwijd. Besoek wereldwijdse webteiste, teken in op die nieuwsbrief en volg ons op sociale media en ondersteun belangrike aksies in Suid-Afrika. So now that Henrik saw it, I can focus on the important things. Like figuring out how long to soak these before they fall off. <laughs>